And yes, for those of you who haven't realized, my previous video uh, about the Bible, uh, I think it was the book of Luke and a couple of passages from it, that was there for humorous purposes. I know full well I was misrepresenting the words. I know full well I was misrepresenting the ideas and I was doing it for a laugh, predominantly to upset those of the more extremist, fundamentalist, literalist type of bent. And that's basically what it was all about, okay? It wasn't because I actually thought that um, the Bible was talking about men sleeping together in a sexual way, nor was it, uh, nor did I feel that the use of the word grinding was referring to some form of lesbian activity. It was plainly to do with like the domestic duties of grinding grain to make flour, to make bread, quite obviously. Uh, and, you know, you can't really think that it could have possibly been anything else unless, of course, you know, you've got some kind of issue with the way in which you perceive the kind of media that people put out, okay? Uh, I was basically being a bit of a schoolboy with the whole thing, and it was, it was there for fun. So, everybody relax, remember to breathe... No, I'm not, you know, coming out with hate rhetoric or, you know, whatever. That's not the kind of thing that I would do anyway or would want to do. I'm just having a laugh to demonstrate that I don't take too much stuff too seriously. And I tend to see religious stuff as there for contemplation rather than necessarily, oh, this is fact and I must sort of ultra see this as like ultra important because I, I take a different attitude to all this stuff anyway. And some of you guys should know that by now that I'm much more relaxed than a lot of other people when it comes to things that some people say I should be much less relaxed about. So, yeah, I mean, the cool thing about the Bible is that there's many different ways of looking at what's written there, all right? And yes, I have actually been to various Bible study groups, and there's people who say that they spent years and years and years in Christianity or in Judaism, uh, and, you know, you, you always get wildly different interpretations of something which is like very much in black and white. And that just shows experientially that people don't have a singular interpretation for anything of a religious nature, which means that there's no real such thing as a singular religious culture. There are various pundits out there who try and make it so that their words not the words of the Bible or Quran or um, the witchcraft Bible, if there is one these days, I don't know, um, is like the authorized interpretation. But essentially, and in practice, that's not the case. And the problem with the various pundits out there is that they end up supporting uh, a particular political interpretation. And from that, you get like, uh, you know, the creationist border dash, you get all of the, um, you know, um, God hates fag stuff. You go, you know, and, you know, it's really fucking stupid ideas. Not necessarily because of the words which are present in any form of holy book whatsoever, but because of people's interpretations, reinterpretations, misinterpretations, and so on and so forth. So, as far as growth of understanding is concerned, it's um, incredibly variable. I mean, let's take, for example, the idea of the Holy Trinity, which is present in Christianity. This is a concept which was uh, invented uh, after the time of Jesus in order to try and like tie together the views of the new Christian sect with the older traditional Jewish ideas. Uh, it's, and that's and even the word Trinity or Trinitarian was invented in order to try and mean a new thing, namely three in oneness. Okay, so that's just the evidence of reinterpretation which people do. So that's why contemplation, recontemplation, not to reaffirm your views, but also to slowly change and help your views to evolve is important as well as to measure uh, your own progression. I did this video years ago when I was like, you know, because what I did then was I had the camera pointing at the wall and I stood up there in front of the wall with like spotlights on me and I tried to look really professional, which I don't always do now because I don't care to. 
uh, and I just uh, talked about this book I thought I think it was about the New Age Travelers and the fact that I used that book religiously because every time I went back to it I would read different things into it I would understand the characters and the stories um, in a more in-depth manner and so I used it religiously so that was basically what I was doing in that uh, recent video when I was taking the piss out of those passages from Luke I was demonstrating the same thing all right, that you can reinterpret and misinterpret and so on and so forth. And it takes time for you to grow with the ideas in any form of text. And therefore, nothing is that clear cut, all right, including concepts relating to faith, ideology, uh, mysticism, even science. Okay? So, everybody chill out, relax. You know, I'm, I'm not the, the lunatic I was trying to promote myself as in that one particular video. I'm just a guy who's, who's just basically fucking with you, all right? <laughs> chill out, relax.